Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a mastery empowerment course for your empowered mastery. And today, this is a very special session, a very sacred session. This is the New Earth Embodiment Coronation Christ Consciousness. And my guests today and teachers of this course are Marissa Marcuchula and Christopher Parnell. You will experience a beautiful sonic experience, a sonic session as we learn from this expression of love in this Mastery Empowerment course. Let's welcome Marissa and Christopher. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Aloha. Thank you, Loren. Thank you, everyone. Bless you. We're so happy to be here with you today. Yeah, I'm so grateful to be here. Paul, yeah, I apologize for any technical uh, issues here. Wasn't how we intended, but getting set up here, <laughs> learning. Well, this is our new world and we adapt. We absolutely know that we adapt. So yes, it is well worth the wait. As we are in this space and coming in and welcoming everyone in, Marissa, can you give an overview of what this is about, especially on this beautiful day? Uh, absolutely. Thank you so much, Loren. So thank you so much, everyone, and welcome. It is good to be together. And today, the purpose of this is to share embodiment practices for all of us to retain a heightened sense of beingness, interconnectedness, higher frequencies of self and love, and this is what I'm seeing as the resurrection codes. So we are definitely closing an old cycle and beginning a new one. And this is a very ripe time with a lot of energy and a lot of potential. And our intention today is to provide a sense of empowerment and stability and a greater sense of self during these times so that we can be creators and really step into that role of conscious creation. So without further ado, we're going to keep going here. I wanted Christopher to talk a little bit with you all about the sound healing and what he has to share here. Um, he's also a keeper of the trees, and he just has so much to share uh, through his own expression of his own source consciousness. So I'm going to hand the phone over to Christopher for a minute. Hi, welcome. I'm Christopher Parnell. I've been offering sound for the last seven years and was just so deeply uh, moved by the didgeridoo when I first came in contact with it and, and started the next day, started crafting uh, many different types of didgeridoos. And, and uh, it's said to be, if you aren't familiar with the didgeridoo, it's said to be the oldest instrument out of Australia and the Mayans used it as well. Um, over there, they call it the Mayan trumpet. And it produces really deep vibrations that um, really assist us with coming, really shedding everything that we aren't, everything that we're holding on to. Um, instead, we hold our issues and our tissues. So the vibration, uh, especially when you feel it in person, you can really see how it's just it's shaking loose everything that we aren't so we can fully come and relax into our our true beingness. So yeah, so passionate to uh, share the didgeridoo. Yeah. So, oh, and it's in C. Uh, I've got a bowl in C as well. And it's a root chakra uh, tuning. So really, really helpful for grounding in in these times and, and really relaxing uh, our root chakra or our, uh, you know, which can be connected to our fight or flight. So really uh, assisting and grounding and, and calming uh, any fears that we may have in these times. So, so grateful to offer this up. Um, yeah, our website is thriveinspirit.com and look forward to being connected with you and, and hosting here. Thank you. Let's all start to come together now. And Christopher's actually going to play. We're going to do a little soundscape here to kind of merge together and come together into this beautiful space that we're co-creating together. And so without further ado, here we go.
All right, everybody. I hope you felt that resonate through every cell of your being. I'm just like smiling so wide from that. I'm like, my face is cramping. <laughs> and, you know, the idea is let's, let's have a sound bath together. Let's come into these beautiful resonant frequencies of harmony and unity consciousness with one another. And the intention today as we go through this beautiful uh, ceremony space, if you will, together, is that we'll ride the frequencies of the sound and they will take our creations higher. So I want to get into a little bit of a discussion here, and then we're going to actually go into a heart activation meditation, um, which will be facilitated by sound. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the energies that we are being presented with right now. So a lot of us way showers have been sensing and, and feeling this ability, this invitation of a resurrection of our identity, of our consciousness, of our human spirit. And we are really being presented right now with the opportunity to release the old, what no longer serves us, to start to address and discern, to sort through and sift through old limiting belief systems, fear. A lot of these older programs are really uh, taking a, a predominant place in our consciousness right now. So this is a very powerful opportunity for us to embrace or to birth our new, our ideal reality. We cannot deny right now that we are in the midst of a grand global reset. And this is an opportunity for all of us to choose our experience, to mindfully choose our behavior, to come from a greater place, a larger place than fear. And we're doing this, you know, with practicality, of course, with mindfulness and consideration for all other people and what they're going through and how they are interpreting these events. Our intention is to provide empowerment and peace in these times so that we can transcend fear or anything where we feel small or unempowered. And so where I'm coming from with this being a new earth embodiment practice, this is the first one we're offering. We're going to be offering many of these, but an embodiment practice is starting to take a new perspective right now in your perception of your beingness and your capability. And what do we have control or power over right now is our responses to things and choosing how we respond, how we behave, and starting to come from a larger place. So with these frequencies here, we have the ability to tune into nature. And in particular, the instruments that we are working with today, you know, you could say they are the voices of Gaia. Um, the didgeridoo is coming through a beautiful tree. And then we have the crystal bowls. These are organic frequencies. These are true frequencies. And so one of the things that I always want to remind people of these times is we can choose how we interpret what we experience and what we choose to focus on. And so it's really powerful right now at this time to tune into nature as much as we possibly can to reawaken our connection to one another and to the planet and to this greater sense of beingness. So as we all know, we've been observing, we've been inundated. There is one negative narrative right now. And it is kind of a large one, to say the least. But we also have to acknowledge that there are many, many narratives right now, many ways to perceive. There's a lot more creative narratives to choose. And through that, love is our superpower. And it is something that we can learn to trust and to expand. And so with this embodiment experience now, this new earth, is as we mindfully go about our days and we're navigating the shifts and the changes, we can choose how to respond, how to become a leader in our community, whether it's in our household, whether we're out and about doing errands and any of the essential errands that we need to do, any human interactions right now, whether in person or in the virtual, are very powerful opportunities for us to begin to act and respond from a higher place of mastery. And so for me, this is what embodiment is. This is embodiment of our new earth identity. A lot of the old systems are, as we see them, they're really shifting and changing and we're not sure what is reliable. We're not sure what the next step is, but what we are sure of is our own empowerment, 
our own ability to stand strong and to be a leader and lead by example in our behavior and how we process and all of these things. So one of the things that we want to remind you is that while there is the fear narrative, it does exist. We acknowledge it, but we can also choose to witness it and to respond with, you know, practical means and, and, and respectful of everyone involved in, in every situation. But we also can remember that there is a greater narrative that is vast and it is the immense love, abundance, and the divinity within, and that through this awareness, there is great support. Love is our superpower. And so we invite you to trust it and to let it grow within you. And so with this, there's this beautiful concept, um, the indigenous people of Australia called the, the dream time. And it's a very conscious space where all of us take the time to consciously create together, whether alone in meditation or um, I know a lot of us are isolated right now, but we can still be together in unity through platforms such as this or digitally. But when I started to look at the power of the dream time as a conscious creation, what came through to me was the notion of the dream weave, which is where we are mindfully unifying our intentions and our hearts together, our dreams and our prayers for the highest outcome that we would desire for humanity and really starting to think about and ponder and use our imaginations to consider, wow, what would a society that put humanity first look like? How would our global human experience shift in positive ways? And using our imaginations in tandem with our hearts is a powerful way to contribute to what I call the dream weave, which is a collective unified container. And that's our intention today to come together and to embody the new earth through our actions and our commitment to self mastery, our commitment to self love and compassion and generosity, and our also our commitment to listening to our higher self, the deep still voice inside. So with that, we're going to prepare now to do a beautiful heart activation meditation. And we're going to do it with some sound. <laughs> and so another thing I wanted to say, um, we, let's start to build our energy. Let's start to come now. We're here together. We're so blessed to be here together. And whether you're here live with us and for those who will listen on the replay, this energy is here for you. This great love is you and it is here for you. And I want to say, let's light up. Let's light up the collective. Let's begin to shine. Remember many of us, who participated in the 444 global meditation. When we get together like this and we put our intentions together, this is again engaging with one another mindfully through the heart space into the dream weave. We can literally measure and view the results of our conscious intention and the power of our hearts and the power of our love through the Schumann resonance. So our love and conscious intention is just so very powerful. And I want to encourage us, let's remember on a daily basis, let's check in and let's use our mind and our thoughts responsibly with loving service for ourselves, our communities and families, for our beloved planet Gaia and all of creation. So that being said, everybody, we're going to light it up even more. Let's amp it up. We're going to amp up ourselves and one another and the grids where we live all over our beautiful planet. And so I want to invite you now to please turn on your Reiki. Start to tune in. Turn on your energies. Let's invite our beloved ancestors, the masters, the holy saints, our Heavenly Mother and Heavenly Father, all of the highest light to be here with us as we are one family, as humanity rising together in love. So I want to invite you now to open your hearts. 
Open your fields. Open your ascension column. Open the chakras in your hands. And you can feel this beautiful collective weave that we have going on here. It's just absolutely yummy. And let's place your hands on your heart. And let's start to take some nice deep breaths here. So we're in the body, we're in the heart, and we're also feeling this beautiful energy all around us. Let's take a few breaths here. And let's do a little bit of chest opening. So you can leave your hands on your heart, but let's bring our attention to the rib cage and kind of really starting to expand our chest by rolling your shoulders backwards and downwards, opening wide across the collarbones. Inhaling deeply into the heart center and seeing a radiant diamond seed of light at the center of your chest glowing a radiant golden crystalline light shining forth from your soul. And take a few breaths here and see that beautiful seed. And I want to invite you, we're going to do a really beautiful, powerful mudra. So you can leave your hands on your heart if you wish to connect, or we could do the Lotus mudra. And what you do is you spread your fingers wide apart and place the base of your palms together and your thumbs and your pinky fingers are touching they're merging and you're making like a big kind of like a bulbous beautiful lotus flower with your hands as best you can and we're going to put that at the heart center and your fingers are facing upwards palms are facing upwards making this beautiful flower your heart is a beautiful flower Let's proceed to the unified heart chakra meditation here. So we're going to breathe light into your heart and expand it on the exhale. So you breathe in and on the exhale see that light grow from a seed to a beautiful bright light radiating out from your heart space. Inhale again. Exhale, see that beautiful light grow until it's larger than your whole body. Again, this golden diamond crystalline light radiating. Inhale again and keep expanding. So on each exhale, we're gonna expand that light wider and wider. So now it's filling up the entire room where you are. And inhale again, and we're going to expand it to now encompass your entire house or office, wherever you are. And now we're going to expand. Inhale, exhale, expand that light from the heart now out onto your entire street where you are. expand it out to your entire city or town whether you're in a city or you're in the suburbs or a rural environment just expand like you're looking at a map and inhale and expand that light even wider to include your entire county and then your state and then your country and then the continent where you are right now on the grid lighting up that grid inhale and exhale that beautiful light now to the entire hemisphere of the planet where you are right now and now we're going to radiate that beautiful golden diamond light to the entire planet to all of Gaia we see ourselves so expanded and beautiful from our soul space And now we're going to radiate our light on that next in, in, exhale out into space, beyond the planet, into our beautiful galaxy, radiating golden diamond light from your heart center 
out into space and just listen to the frequencies of sound as you expand, breathe, stay expanded.
All right, everybody. I hope you got to really ride the spirals of sound there. <laughs> Start to bring your awareness back into the immediate now moment. Coming back back into your body if you went out into the far reaches of the galaxy, which is what I was hoping you would get to do. <laughs> Bring your focus back now to your body, to your heart, in the room. And I want to go a little bit more into embodiment. And what is it? For myself personally, um, the isolation has enabled me to connect more deeply, really out of force, to be honest, um, because there have been a lot less distractions. To start to bring my awareness more to my own body uh, on even deeper levels than I had known possible. And so embodiment is really starting to bring our awareness into our body, merging the spirit with the vessel. And also starting to understand the infinite capacity of our physicality and how divine it really is. Embodiment is starting to see, even just starting with our own physical body, the miracles, the miracles that we are and that miracles are actually a norm. We start to now, with more time on our hands, be able to shift our focus from the things we used to focus on to being here, being here in the now moment, being here with one another and feeling our body. I think many of us were so cerebral before and I know it definitely took me the first several decades of my life to really be in my body um, and to start to understand it and to appreciate it. I really pushed it and worked it very hard. So the embodiment process here is many levels, but you'll see the parallels between our own individual embodiment process and that of it really from there uh, expanding out into the presence process. So beyond just ourselves, but also our families and our loved ones and our, our spouses uh, our communities, strangers on the street, when we're more present within, we become more present with one another, and that expands to being more present with Gaia and the larger global community and humanity, and we become more connected and start to experience this incredible interconnection and really begin to truly embody, and what I mean by that is to truly understand, to viscerally understand through a tangible connection, our interconnection our connection to everything. And so how this is a beautiful embodiment practice for new earth is, you know, we're coming home. For many of us, this is the first time coming home in this life. And it's such a beautiful opportunity to reprioritize our focus and what's important and what is a priority now. And of course, also with all of that, we have the consistent opportunity on a daily basis to decide where to place our focus, what would be the most productive or what would be the most useful or serving all involved, keeping us calm and in the now moment. So that's embodiment. It's our invitation now. This is an initiation now for self-mastery on all levels through exhibiting and sharing and doing our best to come from a place of loving kindness, mindfulness, consideration for others, a conscious focus on how powerful we are. And we start to see these like ripple effects of our actions and our words and our focus and, and what they create. So this is a, an incredibly beautiful time for creation and to really start to embody and to understand how powerful we are as creators. And that's really the focus for today that we wanted to share, so excited to share with you all is your power and your beauty and our role and many of us, our role is 
to remind one another and ourselves, we need reminders too, of who we are and why we're here. And this is New Earth embodiment. We come into unity consciousness through our own unique experience. And each one of us stepping up affects the whole. And it's just really beautiful and powerful. This is choosing what to create in our lives. And so this is where the coronation aspect of this ceremony we're doing together, this meditation activation, is that once you start to understand through your embodiment how powerful you are, there becomes a sense of great responsibility in a beautiful way. Not in a way that feels taxing or depleting, but a way that is magical and full of surprises and co-creative. It's a holographic, so we're like stepping up into the holographic universe as active participants here. And this is where the coronation comes in because you start to understand cognitively and in your body and in a spiritual sense, the interconnectivity and your own empowerment. And that really expands your crown. And so I want to invite you guys to think about what your crown looks like. It could be beech wood, twigs and moss you'd find in a beautiful forest. It could be as ornate as you want. But to really consider the power, the metaphorical power, etherically, of imagining your crown right now on your head. And that for your children and your family and friends and all those you know and love and care about and those you don't know yet, all of humanity. This is a beautiful opportunity for us to rebirth ourselves and to say yes and step up to a, a it's a holy, it's a sacrament, a holy obligation, but not like what we used to think of with these words because it's so beautiful and empowering and everyone has something to contribute. So imagine this is your divine rebirth. And you can choose to do this every single day. It's not just once. And so think about your crown, your crown chakra, the beautiful crown of your head. Maybe even feel, feel the top of your head, feel your fontanelle where all of the <laughs> plates of your skull bones come together. It's just incredible. So we're coming into, you know, the new human, the divine human, and we are new earth. So as we come into embodiment, we are new earth. We are the earth in our own body. We're connected to Gaia. We are her and, and she is us. And maybe this self-awareness is enough each day to remember And now I'd like to invite everybody, after you've taken a moment to visualize what this looks like and feels like, we're going to tone together. And then I have some decrees that I wrote that we could say aloud. And this is to activate the throat chakra. We've worked with the heart chakra through the unified heart meditation. And now I want to invite everyone to open and work with their throat chakra now through claiming uh, very powerful words and aspects of being here. And what this does is this actually provides a portal or an access point to our higher heart chakra, the sacred heart, uh, which is at our thymus. So you have to open the heart first to start to embrace the real true you and what is true for you. It's a completely unique experience. And then when you're comfortable to start talking about it, expressing it through the throat, then that opens the next portal, which is the higher heart, which will enable you to activate and receive even higher insight and more connection with your guidance and your soul and more unity consciousness. So I have a mantra here. And it's a Sanskrit mantra. Hari, Hari, Om. And Hari Om means to renounce and be relieved of all suffering, blocks, or smallness. So I want to really elaborate 
the pronunciation of each of the seed syllables here because each sound is very powerful. The vibration, as we know, we're working with vibration today. This is a new earth embodiment technology working with vibration, whether it's instruments like the ones we're listening to today or the instrument of your own voice. So I want you to elaborate the pronunciation of each seed syllable and see the frequencies of each sound resonate through your entire being. And so the mantra is Hari Om. And we say Ha Ri Om. Hari As we do this, we can envision all this beautiful expansion and opening for ourselves and all of creation and for Gaia. So what we do for ourselves, we do for others. And this is bringing in that mastery again, that conscious awareness of the interconnectivity of our actions and the karma resulting from our actions. And now I have some beautiful affirmations for us, some divine decrees. So I'm going to do my best to say them slowly so we can repeat. If you, if you can, or if you feel called to repeat after me or after us, take a deep breath. <sighs> okay. Take another deep breath in. <sighs> Okay, here we go, guys. I am the I am. I am the I am. I am that. I am that. I am all that was, is, or will be. I am all that is, was, or will be. I am unified in my heart of hearts. I am unified in my heart of hearts. Within the divine threefold flame. Within the divine threefold flame. Of the Christos Sophia. Of the Christos Sophia. I am an angelic being. I am an angelic being. Of Christed love purity, joy, and ease. <laughs> I invoke and command I invoke and command my Christed angelic my Christed angelic I am presence I am presence to light up my life to light up my life <laughs> Open through my fields. Open through my fields. As we celebrate love, unity. As we celebrate love, unity. And the peace of being aligned. And the peace of being aligned. With soul guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. With soul guidance, knowledge, wisdom. I call upon the mighty Christ I am presence. I call upon the mighty I am Christ presence. Which I also am. Which I also am. <laughs> I call this knowingness and pure love. I call this knowingness and pure love. Forth from deep within myself. Deep from within myself. To now show me the way of my destiny. And now show me the way of my destiny. This light and love opens my higher heart chakra. This light and love opens my higher heart chakra. Located between my heart chakra and throat chakra. Located between 
my heart chakra and throat chakra. At the thymus. At the thymus. So everyone, take your fingers and tap, tap, tap where the collarbones meet. Tap, tap, tap right below that. Maybe an inch or two below that right now. That's right the thymus. Yeah, right where there's a bone protruding. That's a good way to find it. Right. Thank you. So we're going to tap, tap, tap the thymus. Open it up. Higher heart. Woo! Here we go. These pure source. These pure source. Christed angelic codes. Christed angelic codes. Grant me access. Grant me access. To the flames of my sacred heart. To the flames of my sacred heart. I breathe the breath of life. I breathe the breath of life. A soul resurrected now. A soul resurrected now. Forth in the divinity. Forth in the divinity. And sacred magic of the human body. And sacred magic of the human body. Now I have access. Now I have access to the portal of my higher to the portal of my higher sacred heart sacred heart consciousness consciousness permanently permanently uh, Amen everybody. Amen. amen. So be it. So it is. It is good. We are so grateful. And one more, a little a few more lines. I really got into this as you can tell. So mm -hmm. fun. Uh, I commend this pure source, Cosmic Christ. I command this pure source, Cosmic Christ. Consciousness. Consciousness. To pour through and radiate out. To pour through and radiate out. From me throughout all time and space. From me throughout all time and space. All of creation. All of creation. Throughout all dimensions and realities. Throughout all dimensions and realities. And parallel realities. And parallel realities. Ad infinitum. Ad infinitum. To the original point. To the original point. Of separation. Of separation. From my source. From my source. And now to the present moment. And now to the present moment. Amen, everybody. <laughs> so be it. Mm -hmm. So it is. <laughs> okay, so we want to anchor that in with a little more sound. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So we're coming to uh, we're coming to the close. We wanted to seal this beautiful aspect of this course together today, this meditation with some sound, so we can really just this is you know a lot and it's beautiful and it's deep. So let's ground it in deep into our cells and just let it ring true with these beautiful instruments. So we're going to have another little round here. So everyone get ready. <laughs>
All right, everyone. I hope that you feel as expanded as we do right now. <laughs> and you can remember this, this expanded energy field that is you. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for being here today with us and, and for all you are and all you do and all you share. And thank you for bearing with us with the technical stuff. You should see the setup we have here. Christopher's got like five didgeridoos and then two bowls and a huge drum and all these cameras and mics. And yet we were still able to do this. So I am so grateful. <laughs> so grateful for you all. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marissa and Christopher. We were floating on the waves of sound there. Excellent. <laughs> I trust everyone is expanded as well. Thank you. Thank you, Loren, and thank you to everyone here because we do this all together. You know, we're in this together. <laughs> so we just keep lighting up together. <laughs> okay, beautiful. So I want to talk a little bit about Marissa's beautiful work on the planet. And I want to share that like many of you, we are listening to the call of our heart more than ever. And Marissa has stepped up on a whole new level. And it is encouraging because I know you, anyone and everyone listening to this program can hear that call of the heart. You are a new earth leader. And Marissa mm -hmm. is one of them. And I honor you, Marissa. It's so beautiful to see you blossoming. Well, thank you, Lauren. <laughs> I think with these times, we can't, we can't hide anymore. We can't hide anymore. It's like, oh my gosh, we ha all have so much to offer. And in a way, it's kind of funny, but us not being on camera today definitely did alleviate some nerves, I think. For, I can Isn't speak for that? myself, you know, with that, you know. <laughs> but... But that's part of it is, is uh, we all have so much to share just by who we are. And this goes out to everyone listening. You know, everyone has something to share, you know. <laughs> yes, yeah. everyone has Thank something you. to share. So I mm -hmm. encourage everyone to start writing down when we are in this expanded state, go onward and write down what you have to share. I can say going through this, and Marissa, I know you too, and I know everyone who goes through this, not everyone, but a majority will say, what in the world do I have to offer? Or what is my story? What does my story of such grudge and darkness, what does that story have to offer? I can say mm -hmm. that the sharing is your unique recipe of love and, and return to love. And so, wow to see people sharing it. I cry because this is my truth. And so it empowers all of us because we know in these times, it is new earth being birthed here from this embodiment of love and being the master. And so during this time, the, the wisdom of um, people who share this information is now being heard in a new way by people who in the past may have rolled their eyes or dismissed mm -hmm. it. Do you see that? Do you sense that Marissa? You're a mom. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I've, you know, I think we've all had so many roles and so many lives just in this one. And I could definitely say, you know, I'm going to be 33 years old in a few weeks. And I feel like I've definitely had at least that many lives in this cycle, um, all the different things we've gone through. And I think that's part of this is it's, there's a depth of our experience that keeps expanding if we're willing to allow it. And that's where the open heart comes in, you know, it's that like, you know, the ego doubting or, or being cynical uh, versus the heart and what feels better and what feels right. It's going more with the feeling, you know, instead of thinking too much anymore. <laughs> yes. You just answered Francesca's uh, question. Is it a choice between oh. love or fear? Right? Exactly. You did. Yeah. Is it a choice between love or fear, or can they coexist? Well, mm. that's a great question. And I think that they both are here, oh, definitely in our faces right now. And I think that it's a, a sometimes a moment by moment, a breath by breath choice to choose which one is right for you. 
you know, we can only, we can't speak for anyone other than ourselves, but I definitely can resonate with the fear and the contracted, you know, feelings that come with that um, and backed in a corner or feeling powerless or any of that. And I think many of us are awakening from that state where we've been there our whole lives. And the more we can say yes to the love, um, the more we can start to see and witness and observe and actually allow opportunities and beautiful things to happen. So if we, we remain open, um, that's how everything can come through versus contracted, you know, and that's, that's a choice for us as we continue to, um, to shed a lot of the old story and pain and identity. Yes. And so, so many patterns are being broken and yeah. <clears throat> that's how we create the new. And I love that saying yes to the love. And so, yeah. <clears throat> you know, when we see this set ourselves in fear, you know, for ex- I want to share for an example. Um, we can choose to move in love, even though we may be mm-hmm. doing something that may make us be fearful, like let's say wearing a mask. Mm-hmm. If we say mm-hmm. we are covering our face to make others feel safe and protected mm-hmm. because, mm-hmm. you know, we're keeping our stuff to ourselves, and maybe likewise, I don't know. But Mm -hmm. that is an act of love. And remember, Mm -hmm. Jesus, I think about Jesus all the time. Here we are with the resurrection codes. And you, my dear, turning 33 in a few weeks. That's the Jesus (laughs) number. Right? Jesus, 33 as a master, and it's a master number. Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. um, share on that. Share your comments there. Um, With with, with Jesus or, or, sorry? Oh yes, just anyhow. I just, uh, I, I just get. I'm just wrapped up in all of this. It is saying yes to the love, and <laughs> yeah. And so, like you, know, you could say, Yeshua or Christ was a beautiful example of the avatar human, the fully realized 12D divine human, and that's what I'm like so passionate about sharing with everyone because yes. I've been, you know, we've all been through the darkness. We've all been through a lot of things a lot of things. And we, we also, though, on that note, our soul signed up to be through so many things so that we could expand our hearts even wider and have more compassion and understanding for others as they awaken as, as well, you know? And I think that that has a lot to do with, with this and with Easter, you know, with the resurrection is, is a very powerful symbolic um, experience that I think we're going through right now while the cosmos is going through it. And it's pretty incredible. It's a holographic (laughs) reality, (laughs) you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, beautiful. All right. And so we are moving out of our head and that's where fear and our trust in fear and worry resides. Mm -hmm. And we're moving into our hearts. And it's quite simple if we really surrender to that. And you helped us in this beautiful sound journey. And again, I want to share that we're going to put the beautiful um, sound uh, recording that was recording recorded on site on this webpage. I think, Chris, if you're good with it, can we offer that as a download? Yeah. Great. Yeah, I can give you the audio file and yeah. What a gift. Perfect. Great. And I want yeah. to share, like, you'll be hearing a lot more from Christopher, too. Um, I, like myself, I had to get myself out of hiding, out of the closet, out of the mm-hmm. spiritual closet. And, and I joke that, you know, we're all coming out of the woodwork now, and Christopher's going to come out of the wood <laughs> workshop now. <laughs> because he's creating and creating these beautiful pieces. And I'm like, it's time to share this medicine, you know. So that's exciting. Yes. And Christopher, you are technical. You've got the recording all set up. And so um, what a beautiful way to share. Yeah, uh, yeah branch in out online. Um, just a little short history. Uh, got sober 11 years back. Went through a lot of addiction early on in my life. And, uh, so I've come full circle and been offering uh, for seven years, but for the last two years at rehab and. So, so I've been out offering a lot of sessions, uh, assisting many and, and myself. And, but yeah, now it's time to yeah, fully step out online and, mm-hmm. and set up to do it. Mm-hmm. Just uh, from, from this, I've seen that I need to move the Wi-Fi downstairs. 
hardwire it. I hardwired my computer. That's a tip, everyone okay. listening. When you want to do okay, Zoom calls, you. hard it requires hardwired, hard the good old <laughs> Ethernet. <laughs> I want to say, Christopher, you're so on your journey through that recovery phase and coming back to who you are and your recognition of it and kicking your uh, addiction to the side, the didge was a healing tool for you. Did you find that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and essentially you are the didgeridoo. Um, so I don't know how well it comes across on the phone, but essentially this is what I'm doing with the circular breath. The breath. <laughs> I don't know how well you can, how well that translates, but uh, essentially you are the didgeridoo. So with the breath, you're really moving uh, your whole body, vibrating your whole body, your whole being. And, um, it really takes you into quite a trance state and uh, resets and, and regrids your system. And it's also said uh, that that a healthy being vibrates between, I don't know the exact numbers, but it's around 64 to 74 hertz. And uh, so they've proven that to be, and uh, the didgeridoo is actually resonating at that frequency. So it really assists with bringing us into that vibration that we were meant to be living within. Meant to be there. Uh, beautiful. That's where it was hard even for me to kind of even think or function after that, taking us a while <laughs> to come back into our bodies, right? And formulating words. And so um, I just love the didgeridoo. Again, we'll have that perfect recording as a gift for everyone. And Marissa, just to see you stepping into this wisdom it is very ancient. You are bringing in many gifts and stepping into your mastery. And you help others do the same. You are quite the goddess warrior. There are personal <laughs> sessions that you do with people. And yes. um, you do online courses too. But I want you to share a little bit about mm -hmm. what people can expect in a personal session. What goes on? Oh, yes. Um, so... To try to put it as, as succinctly as possible, um, what I'm here to do is to help people to find themselves and find their soul. And in my own process of doing that, of awakening, I've discovered a lot of tools and systems that are really amazing and ancient. Um, some of these are human design. Uh, we're looking at you know, astrology. We're looking at Vedic and Mayan astrology. Um, different kinds of shamanism, Ayurveda. So I've studied so many things throughout my life, um, which were all tools that I acquired to help me to continue to expand my own self-awareness and my own identity, you know, beyond my ego and, and to remember a lot of components of my soul. And so um, if anyone out there is familiar with human design, uh, I'm a projector. And so projectors mm -hmm. have an interesting ability where we're able to actually project ourselves and see others at soul level. Uh, as an innate um, ability. And when I was younger, that was very challenging because then it was hard to determine who you were and who the other was because you're always fixated out and focusing out and that's how you learn. But I use that ability now in my sessions with people. I'm able to see them and help them and intuitively uh, provide them with tools. And so I'm kind of like a data bank of a lot of systems uh, <laughs> kind of, if you will, and I can just, you know, I tune in with the individual and wherever they're trying to integrate or they have goals or any blockages or any kind of thing, I help them. I help them do that. Everyone has the ability to do this for themselves. And sometimes it's really helpful to have systems and tools uh, that are very ancient, you know, um, to enable us to go deeper. So that's what I do is I reflect back, oh, these are, here's some great things that you could do, some multidimensional practices or tools or all kinds of things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. All right. So thank you. A special mm -hmm. offer from Marissa includes a personal session. You can check that out. One or three sessions there. That's quite a gift and nice for you to offer that. And thank so you. thank you. Also, I want you to share on the uh, Magdalena course as well. How beautiful. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, so uh, last year I really started to have embodiment experiences with Mary Magdalene and did a lot of study and meditation and um, exploration of who she really was. And so I created this beautiful course for, and it's it's for women and for men, um, but it's actually awakening your divine feminine DNA, activating that um, with the codes uh, that Mary Magdalene and the whole lineage, the priestess lineage of the Rose, the very ancient Lemurian order, and it involves Yeshua as well. Um, But that that beautiful course is the awakening your divine feminine DNA through Ascended Master Mary Magdalene. We do a lot of beautiful things through that course. Um, with her, with her assistance. <laughs> it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. So please check that special offer out. It is available in the description box here on YouTube, or you can check out the uh, item on this webpage that you're viewing this event on or listening to this show. Well, this Mastery Empowerment course was a sonic experience, uh, experience, and we are vibrating higher and faster than we were when we joined today. So thank you, everyone. Hold this frequency. Hold this energy. I want to give you both a moment to close our sacred circle, and we'll say goodbye. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm gonna do one more little one more little dig round for you all to seal this and, and wish you all well. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you, Marissa and Christopher. This has been a beautiful, sacred event, and we are united in feeling the oneness, and we feel empowered expressing this great love as new earth. Thank you both so much, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Aloha. Blessing. Namaste.